three points, firstly. Of course, at this stage of the season, uh, I, thought, I suppose the, the priority is to get as many points as you can. Um, it's nice to play well as well, but we weren't particularly fluent. We, uh, our forwards were a little bit sluggish, apart from probably junior. Um, so it became difficult, but you look at the results and we're in a good position, so um, it was important that we got three points. Can't play well every game, so we need to keep going. But it's the second game in a row that you might not have played well, but took your chances. Yeah, we kept a clean sheet, we looked defensively sound. Um, I never really felt in any trouble, as though we were going to lose the game, but just a bit disappointed with our build up play. It was a little bit cumbersome, a little bit slow, and uh, our passing was a little bit sloppy today. Any reason for that? It's hard to put your finger on. I don't know. We're not as good with our passing away from home. Maybe something to do with it, but I'm not sure. At Macclesfield, they were an organised team, actually. They won the possession stat, which is rare that Forest Green don't hold the possession as much as the opposition. Yeah, but uh, like I've said, uh, I think people expected Macclesfield to turn up um, with horns coming out their head or whatever and we were going to lie down and give us three points. It's, they beat Exeter on Tuesday night. They drew at Lincoln. So let's have it right. They went to Lincoln and drew two weeks ago. 1-1. One, one. We've just won 2-0. So let's put it into perspective. Two goals both come from set pieces, which isn't the normal way that we like to score goals. It was a, just, what the first one was, Doig, just a classic Doig goal, put a foot out and it somehow went in the back of the net. Yeah, of course, even when he's not playing very well, you always you always think he's going to come up with something, which was, uh, which was the case today. And he t takes his tally along um, nicely, and the second one was a great free kick from Millsy. You would have cut Mills maybe after Williams was the first set piece taker being that far out, but nevertheless, picked his spot and just seemed to trickle in the back of the net. Good free kick. Good technique. He bent it around the wall and put it in the corner where the keeper couldn't get it, and it, it obviously that took the pressure off us then and enabled everyone to relax a little bit. It was nice so after getting the first goal to change to the five at the back and just try and shore things up. And that you've got a good team to doing that when you've got the lead, holding on to it. I just thought the only way they were going to score was from a, a ball into Harry Smith um, mm -hmm. and, and maybe a, a first contact or a second contact would lead to a goal. And I also wanted to go with two forwards two centre forwards to give their defenders something to, a little bit more to think about so yeah we're constantly trying to manage the game and make it a little bit easier for the players. And now six points adrift from being outside the playoffs so hopefully we've got two extra games going forward but obviously you're going to keep pushing on and going further up the, up the playoffs and hope to get in that home tie in the second game. We just want to win as many games as we can I said that after the MK Dons game, so we've won the two games so far. We have four to play. If we win them, let's see what happens. Thank you very much. Mark. Thank you. Mark, I know you say you're a bit disappointed with the performance, but the result is really important at this stage of, of the season, isn't it? Of course. It's nice to try and get a little bit of momentum with your performances. Um, but like I say, it's, it's nervy, the pitch is bobbly, and it, it becomes a difficult afternoon. You've just got to win the game. And like I say, Macclesfield went to Lincoln two weeks ago and got a point. So. It's a good win for us. Yeah, Macclesfield, five games unbeaten until today, so that really underpins it. That's and right. We we were mature. We didn't play well. We were mature. Uh, we made a lot of mistakes in terms of our basic passing. Um, you know, putting the ball on the wrong side of the man or putting too much weight on the pass or picking the wrong option. And they're the things that lead to you creating good chances. And, um, and we weren't quite with that today, but we did enough. Would you say it's fair to say that Junior Mondale was your standout player in the first half? I th in an attacking sense, yeah. I thought Faz Rawson was outstanding looking after Smith. Um, and I thought that in an attacking sense, Junior was the one that was more likely to, to create something. Four games to go now, busy Easter period. Do you think the Easter period, the two games, will sort out whether or not your playoff material or not? Or will looking, it go to the wire? We're looking forward to it, Ash. We, uh, I think with our goal difference now, it's we've got a cushion of sort of seven points with our goal difference. So... The other teams have got to go for it to, to catch us. And listen, we're gonna we're gonna try and win every game. Just one more from me. Great to win at home as well, isn't it? Yeah, but of course. Always nice to win in your own backyard. Um, and uh, hopefully, we've got two more of those to come. Well done today. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Right.